Unlike fission, nuclear fusion doesn't create any deadly nuclear waste because it fuses atoms together instead of splitting them apart, so there's no threat of a runaway reaction that could lead to a meltdown event. But one Nuclear Prize winning physicist described fusion as trying to put the sun into a box. The idea is pretty, the problem is we don't know how to make the box. The technical issue is that fusion reactions will produce material that's so volatile and hot it will damage the reactor that created it. This isn't stopping private companies and governments from spending billions to research the technology and solve these problems. And if the immense challenges can be overcome, fusion will provide virtually limitless energy and power the world. After 1.1 million hours of construction, the fusion reactor Wendelstein 7X is ready to switch on. Over 16 meters across, Wendelstein 7X is the largest example of a type of reactor known as a stellarator. Like the more familiar tokamak reactors, stellarators hold super hot gas in a cage of powerful magnetic fields. Wendelstein 7X has been optimized by a supercomputer to produce the best possible magnetic cage. 50 bizarrely twisted superconducting magnets look more like sculptures than pieces of precision engineering. They are cooled to minus 270 degrees Celsius and operate just a meter away from a gas at 100 million degrees. If Wendelstein 7X can show it holds onto gas as well as a tokamak, then stellarators may step into the limelight. Building this complex machine has taken 19 years, but researchers hope, when they turn it on, that it will recreate a little bit of the sun.